How to use the straight in porta filter. The straight in porta filter is designed to reduce repetitive motions and to make the process of brewing espresso more ergonomic. To insert the straight in porta filter, simply slide it into the open jaws and pull it up and into position. You will hear it click as the jaws engage, and the machine will show that it is ready with a porta filter icon on the display. To release the porta filter, press the lever with your thumb to disengage the jaws and lower the porta filter, and then pull it straight out. In between brewing, the Strata X incorporates an automatic steam flush and water flush feature to keep the group components clean. Either one of these features can be enabled or disabled in the machine settings menu. How to change between brewing modes. The Strata X has three modes of brewing, manual brewing, profile brewing, and AV mode. You can easily switch between them by pressing and holding the encoder button for two seconds, selecting brew coffee, and then selecting your desired brewing mode. How to brew manually and create a mass-based pressure profile. Programming the Strata X is easy. Whether you're manually profiling or creating a profile to be saved, begin by using the paddle to control the pressure. To start, press and hold the encoder button for two seconds, select brew coffee, and then manual brewing. You can now use the paddle to control the extraction. The rightmost position is off or low pressure, and the leftmost position is the maximum pressure. Move the paddle to manually manipulate the pressure curve and then move the paddle all of the way back to the right when finished. At this point, if you are happy with your profile, you can press and hold the encoder button to save it. Your profile will be saved to the first free and unlocked slot of the 15 slots. How to select and replay a stored mass-based pressure profile. In order to replay a stored mass profile, the Strata X needs to be in profile brewing mode. If your machine is not in that mode, press and hold the encoder for two seconds, then select brew coffee, and then brew with profiles. In this mode, turning the encoder cycles between all of the available profiles. Turn it until the desired profile is selected. Next, moving the paddle begins the profile playback. The profile will replay exactly as originally programmed, and thanks to the integrated scales with drip prediction, combined with the mass profiling technology, it will stop at exactly the programmed weight. The target time displayed on the screen is informational only, and the extraction time will be changed to a red font if you are outside of the target quality window, reminding you that you may want to consider a grind adjustment to steer back towards the target. How to modify parameters of a mass profile. If you want to change the weight of a saved profile, the Strata X makes it easy and intuitive. Once your profile is selected in the Brew with Profile screen, simply press the encoder button. The screen now displays the previously programmed target mass. If you want to change it, simply turn the encoder to change the value. This will automatically scale the stored pressure curve to fit the new beverage weight, and because the pressure profiling is tied to mass instead of time, you can intuitively control the time by changing your grind size to either coarser grind to shorten the time of extraction, or a finer grind to lengthen the time of the extraction, just like you're used to with any traditional espresso machine. How to lock and unlock a mass profile. Profiles can be locked in order to prevent accidentally overwriting them when saving a new profile. If you wish to lock a profile, press and hold the encoder button for two seconds. Scroll to Manage Profiles, and then to Lock Profiles. Using the encoder wheel, you can scroll through all of the saved profiles. Pressing the encoder button toggles the highlighted profile between locked and unlocked. To exit the profile menu, press and hold the encoder button for two seconds. How to operate in AV mode. The machine can also operate in AV mode using a fixed programmable pressure and a mass-based output. 
In this mode, it operates more closely to a traditional AV espresso machine, instead of following a pressure profiling curve. To place the Strata X in AV mode, press and hold the encoder button for two seconds, and select Brew Coffee, and then AV Brewing. In AV Brewing mode, you can use the paddle to select between multiple doses. To use the first dose, move the paddle to the on position, but less than half of the total distance. To use the second dose, move the handle to the on position, and then continue past the halfway mark. You'll see confirmation on the screen as to which dose you have selected. How to program dose and pressure in AV mode. Programming the volume in AV mode is very straightforward. Simply press the encoder button and you'll see the first page showing two editable doses. Press the encoder to adjust the first dose, then press the encoder button when finished and turn it clockwise to adjust the second dose. Press the button again to exit the menu and save the second dose. Rotate the encoder clockwise to select and edit the other two doses. To change the target pressure, you'll need to enter the machine menu. Press and hold the encoder button for two seconds and then select machine settings. Select AV brewing settings and then the corresponding group settings. For example, group 3 would be G3 AV mode settings. Press the encoder button again to select G3 pressure and rotate the encoder until you reach your desired pressure. Press the encoder button again to save it. In this mode, you can also select whether AV mode dispenses via mass using the built-in scales or using the pulses of the internal flow meter. Mass ensures absolute precision, while pulses operate in the same manner as a traditional AV espresso machine. How to change temperature per group. In any of the brewing modes, the temperature of each group is independently controlled, allowing you to precisely control the temperature of each group separately. To change the temperature, press and hold the encoder button for two seconds, and then select machine settings. Turn the encoder until you see coffee boiler settings, and then press the encoder again to enter the menu. From this menu, you can even enable or disable individual coffee boilers. To change boiler temperature, turn the encoder again until you reach coffee boiler temperature option. Here you'll see the current temperature reading from the internal temperature probe, as well as the target temperature. To change the target temperature, press the encoder button and turn the encoder to change the temperature. Pressing the encoder button again will save the change. To exit the settings menu, simply press and hold the encoder button for two seconds. How to use the automatic back flush feature. The automatic backflush feature will backflush the group, automating the on and off cycles so that you are free to do other things. Remove the group screen and screw for cleaning using a flat screwdriver as you usually would. Add detergent to a blind portafilter basket per the instructions on the detergent label. Insert the portafilter into the machine and lock it into place by pulling up. Press and hold the encoder button for two seconds and then select back flush group. To start the back flush process, move the paddle to the left. The cycle will begin and the screen will show a countdown until the process is finished. How to use the steam wand. The steam wand of the Strata X is easy to use and incorporates internal ProTouch insulating technology, keeping the steam wand cool to the touch. The lever actuates the wand, allowing for easy steam pressure control. Pressure is gradually increased the further that the lever is pulled down and stops when placed in the utmost position. This allows you to quickly pull the lever all of the way down for maximum performance, or easily fine tune the steam flow for a more delicate control. How to use and program the hot water wand. 
The hot water wand on the Strata X can be programmed with two different doses or a single continuous dose. The regulation wheel on the right can be used to fine tune the water temperature by mixing cold water with water from the steam boiler. Simply rotate the wheel up to increase the temperature and rotate it down to decrease the temperature. To program doses, press and hold the encoder button for two seconds, select machine settings, and then water dose settings. When water dose is set to continuous, the switch will toggle the hot water wand on and off. When set to time, two doses can be set. The water dose option controls the time in seconds for a regular press, while water long dose controls the time in seconds for a long press. How to use the power options. To save power while keeping the boilers warm, the machine can be placed into eco mode by pressing and holding the encoder button for two seconds, selecting power options, and then machine eco mode. This will allow the boilers to cool slightly to save power when not in use, but to resume much more quickly than if the machine was powered off. While in eco mode, the group paddles, steam wand lever, and hot water switch are all deactivated until eco mode is canceled. To cancel eco mode, simply press the encoder button. The machine can also be turned off through this menu by selecting the turn off machine option. This allows the machine's electronics to stay active while turning power off to the internal components such as the heating elements. Finally, this menu can be used to program on and off times so that the machine will automatically turn on and off based on a schedule. To use, select Auto On Off Settings, and then change Auto On Off to be enabled. Pressing the encoder will cycle through the time for the machine to be turned on, the time for the machine to be turned off, and set to follow the schedule every day, or allow you to select up to one day per week for the machine to remain off. Optionally, the schedule can be programmed through the Lamarzoko Pro app.